This video will show how to create a bundle for a product that comes in different lengths or different quantities. In this example, we are selling a UTP cable and we're selling it in different increments, 25 meters, 50 meters, and 100 meters. Um, we're also offering the 50 meters at a 10% discount and the 100 meters at a 20% discount. Let's go to the back end and see how these products are set up. In order to achieve this bundle, um, we need to have two products. One will just have inventory tracking of a single quantity, and meaning one meter. If you're not selling the product in one meter, you can keep this product hidden. Otherwise, it can be shown. And we also have the parent product, which has the three different lengths. Let's start with the child product, the single quantity. Let's say we have a thousand meters in our inventory of this cable. So for the single product inventory tracking, we're gonna update the inventory to 1000 and we click save. Next, we go into the UTP cable, the actual bundle product. Here, we created it with three different variants, 25 meters, 50 meters, and 100 meters. You can have as many different lengths, quantities here as you want, but in this example, we're only using one variant group. You want to make sure that you're checking to manage pricing and inventory for variants. Um, and here, when you edit it, you want to make sure that track inventory is enabled. Here is where we set the price difference as well to offer a, a discount. The inventory can stay as one. Once we create the bundles, the app will automatically update the inventory to match how many of the single product we have. For now, we can close this and go into the bundles app. In order for this to work properly, we're gonna create three different bundles, one for each of the lengths that we have. We're gonna select the UTP cable bundle with different lengths as our parent product. Under variant mapping method, we're going to change it from separate to connected. And we're going to select the first variant, 25 meters. We're going to connect this to the inventory tracking, the, the single meter product. That's going to be the only product we connect it to, so we can delete the second option here. And we're going to enter the name of the product cable inventory tracking and now we're going to change the quantity to 25 essentially telling the app that whenever this variant of this product is purchased we want to reduce 25 from the inventory tracking product we're going to click on create bundle and we're going to repeat this for the 50 meters and the 100 meters um, again, the bundle product is the parent product here. Mapping is connected. Here we're choosing the 50 meters. We entered the child product here and we're changing the quantity to 50. Clicking on create bundle. And the same thing we're going to do for the 100 meter. Now that we have all three bundles created, we can go back and view the bundle. We're going to have to refresh this page to see the inventory updated. And as you can see, the inventory is updated accordingly. So we have 10 of the 100 meter options, which is 1000 meters, 20 of the 50 meters, and 40 of the 25 meters. Now, let's say we want to 
update the inventory because we got another 500 meters. We're going to go to the individual product. The inventory tracking the single meter options and we're going to update this to 1500. Click save. Now Wix can take about a minute to send the information to our app before it gets updated. We're going to go back to the bundle product and refresh the page to see the new inventory. And as you can see, the inventory has been updated accordingly to reflect 1500 meters in each one of these options. Now let's simulate a purchase. Let's say that someone buys three of the 50 meter options. So instead of 30, we're going to have 27. We're going to click apply and save. And once again, it can take about a minute for Wix to update your website. And we're going to go back into the product. Actually, we can already see that the single inventory product was updated to 1350 because we purchased three of the 50 meter options. And now when we look at the parent bundle product, we see that six of the 25 meters were reduced and two of the 100 meters were reduced. And the inventory is all correct. This is how you create a bundle with different lengths. And if you have any other questions or something was not clear, feel free to reach out to our support. There's a contact us button at the top of the app. Thank you very much.